second Hyundai over 50 years to go from this to this. It's taken BYD less than five to go from this to this. The new BYD seal. Hi, I'm Roscoe, this is Amazing EV, and today we're gonna to have a look at the online configurator guide for the new BYD seal, which was launched late last year in Australia. Let's see what you get, all the options available on the pricing, and see how it compares with the latest new Tesla Model 3, probably its closest competitor. Too many words, too many lies I can't it's so good, it's converted people like Tesla Tom from the ludicrous feed, who's owned Teslas for years. He's gone out and bought a brand new seal. Breaking news, let's congratulate the new CEO of EV Direct, the BYD distributor here in Australia, who replaces Luke Todd, who's been in the role 10 years, and who's been a pioneer of the EV industry in Australia for many years and most of his career. Ironically, David moves from a techo, where he was selling Ram trucks, one of the most gas-guzzling vehicles on the road, to now BYD, one of the most efficient. Too many words, too many but just a word about Luke Todd, who's been championing the EV industry here in Australia for probably over 20 years, for most of his career. Firstly at Carbridge, where they provided airside, airport, transport. Then at Nextport, where he was helping governments like New South Wales and Sydney convert to EV buses. And then EV Direct, where no doubt he took his relationship with BYD and started to introduce the first BYD cars into Australia years ago now, <laughs> resembling nothing like they do. And then quickly we saw the Addo 3 come online about two years ago. Last year, EV Direct saw an injection of capital from one of the largest dealer groups in the country, Eagers Group, chaired by Uncle Nick Politis, injected a huge amount of cash into the business. Then the BYD Dolphin was launched with much fanfare up at SeaWorld on the Gold Coast. And soon after that, the incredible BYD seal that we're gonna have a look at today. Sources close inside BYD suggest there's at least two more vehicles coming this year in 2024 to fill the over 30 BYD experience centers that they're opening right across Australia. So watch this space. <laughs> best. Uh, officially it, he's been appointed Managing Director. I'll never forget how much he's done to bring electric vehicles to Australia and how important BYD will be in future. And we jump straight on to the BYD SEAL website. It's bydautomotive.com.au forward slash SEAL takes you straight on to this incredible picture of the BYD SEAL and I think that's the Arctic blue they've been looking at. A lot of the shots, a lot of the media photos, it looks fantastic. You can find the rest of the BYD range there, the Dolphin, the 803. And we're looking at the SEAL today and fantastically with an NCAP five star safety rating 2023, which is almost becoming the standard now for new cars, EVs or otherwise. Some quick headlines, 650Ks range any DC. No one uses any DC anymore. Up to 3.8 seconds for zero to 100. That's gotta be the top model and all wheel drive dual motor, again, the top model. So some real headline specs, but you can order now straight away from the BYD website here in Australia. They've got experience centers growing all over the country. One here in Alexandria, the, one of the biggest, one in Brisbane now. Alexandria, Sydney, one of the biggest and in, in Brisbane growing now around the country. There you can go and experience, drive, look at the BYD technology, and I'm not sure if you can even order there yet, but ultimately you can go straight on the BYD website and order, and you'll see multiple touch points here. You can get on with their chatbots here, which we understand been very effective, solving probably 85% of their online queries, so if you, if you find that annoying, it makes sense and it's working. If we scroll down here, we have yeah, some amazing shots of the BYD here. I'm really starting to like the design, and especially with the big 19 inch wheels on it. I'm starting to really like the way the form looks. It's a little bit fiddly in the front here, but again, some of those features work really well. I'm liking the fins on the side, 
to break up the side line and I'm just really liking the way that the roof line sweeps back across the body. It's a nice design I'm, and look the contemporary design. Surprising a few people, you can already get information on financing your BYD straight away. Part one of any process in selling a car these days, making sure you can get the money to buy it. But on the background in terms of advanced equipment, integrated battery with body technology, BYD being one of the biggest battery manufacturers in the world, they are supplying a lot of batteries to other manufacturers as well as their own cars as well. Side profile and colors, color range starting to come up there. A really nice side profile. It just works, the proportions look beautiful. I'm really liking it again with the 19s and this particular style, it's the performance model that's showing. Um, just like the way it features those those lines that one through there and the cut back through there makes it look like it's going fast <laughs> one of the <laughs> attributes of a great design i reckon i've always felt as if it looks like it's going fast standing still it's working a bit fiddly in in the rear here and a bit fiddly in the front as i said but there's the color range already before we get to the configurator we can start to have a bit of a tease and see what we like arctic blue atlantis gray aurora white shark gray that's performance model only and cosmos black i think i'm gonna i'm airing towards uh, one of the lighter colors and, and blues it's not the white it's too boring to to tesla i've got a tesla they're all white it looks good in white but they're all white so we're not going white even though it does look good in the white shark gray i'd, I'd love to see that in the flesh maybe it looks more dramatic airplane coming overhead we might have to go black on black i think that we might have to make this one gangster style because that looks cool in the performance that's very cool it's for a base model that might be the go arctic blue but for if we're going performance we might have to go black on black scrolling down eight year 160k battery warranty and six year 150k vehicle warranty that's exceptional from any vehicle where it's a petrol driven car or electric car Good for the used market as well. You know you can sell this car in two or three years. The next owner is going to get another four years or 80,000 Ks. And that's great for used value of, of the BYD seal to know that you're getting eight years total, 160K in battery warranty. Safe and secure, some more information on side and front airbags, corner and comfort, and then some great shots of the interior and comparing the two different interiors available, ocean blue, and Thamus Black. I'm not sure if I've said that properly. Thamus Black. It's basically black on black. The top models, you actually even get leather. The bottom base models is, is vinyl, of course, but the top models, you actually get they, they offer leather. <laughs> Miraculous at these price points. We haven't touched on the price yet, but you've seen them advertised. You know that they're good value, and you're getting leather on the top models here. But that two-tone colour is not going to be that practical for me. I'm not a big fan of the of really whitish, off-whitish inserts or side door panels or side door covers or inserts on the dash. So it's going to have to be black for me. I'm starting to lean that way. And the LED lighting, I don't like it. You can have it. I don't like it. I've never liked it. And I don't like it in the footwells either. It just it tracks on this photo for me. I, I all I'm drawn to is the LED lighting and I don't like it in the door or the dash. I've said it about Tesla and I'm not a fan here either, but okay, car manufacturers have to appeal to a different audience than me. Future is now again, you order straight away. Power to entertain, a panoramic sunroof, 12 speaker audio system, this is 12 speaker Dyn audio system and that 15 inch rotating touchscreen we've seen already on the Addo 3 and we love it. Even more, rain sensing wipers, heated and ventilated driver and front seats, genuine leather wrapped on premium performance models. How about that? Back to leather again. You can, so all the work on the vegan, we're still on the black there and, and it's starting to look good. Starting to love it. Quick look back at some other colors again from this angle. Yeah, that's too light. It's almost high on ish blue, I'm sorry to say. White, white white's nice. You get, and that shark gray doesn't do it for me as much as they probably would hope, but that black, that's, I think I'm going black. Premium power on the top model, zero to 100 and a little 3.8. That's 
X power, AMG X power speed and supercar speed, just insane. That's what you get when you bolt two engines into an, one in the front and one in the back of a, of a 2,000 kilogram car. It's just insane. Again, the front angle there, and again, order, plenty of touch points to go straight to ordering. Technical spec, technical specifications, an old fashioned PDF brochure you used to get when you left the car dealership on a new car. Get excited as you thumb through that, you can still get it on the PDF, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. There's the three models dynamic, premium, and performance. Without going into the configurator, we're starting to get a touch and a feel for what's available. All I've got the BYD blade battery, all varying weights surprisingly. Base model of course 0 to 100, 7.5, that's that's fast and standard for a, the trick vehicle. There it is, 460 WLTP. We can go into any DC at another time, but that's more relevant, 460, and I'm surprised they're not quoting that on the front, on the headline page. Rear wheel drive, five seats, 19 to 2 kgs. 150 kilowatts power and 18 inch alloys and of course the standard beautiful 15.6 inch rotating touch screen moving up to the premium blade battery of course slightly heavier 5.9 seconds to zero so one and a half seconds faster range is better 570 versus 460 wltp rear wheel drive again must have a bigger battery and I'm not sure I haven't seen the pricing yet, but the weight's not considerably more for a bigger battery giving you another 150 odd kilometers, 110 kilometers of range. So there you're also getting quite a more powerful engine, 2. 2. Uh, 230 kilowatts in power, and they're sitting on 19s. So interesting to see what the combination without any more detail of they've done exactly. More powerful motor and a little bit must be a little bit more battery to get more range but not a huge weight increase so performance version now we're getting serious 3.8 seconds to 0 to 100 as i said that's mgx power <laughs> that's mgx power speed that's insane that's crazy fast that's scary fast that's supercar performance fast 520 kilometers WLTP. This is obviously all wheel drive. Two motors driving front and back and a big jump up to 200, 2,185 kgs. So huge jump up from the base model at 1922. And remarkably how fast it is carrying that extra couple of hundred kilos in weight as well. So that's, that's the more extraordinary thing. But then you've got double the power. Two motors, double the power. Riding on 19s again different style and they are pretty sweet wheels so there it is the overview of the BYD seal and it is a very very nice car on the outside and we've had a bit of a taste of some of the details on the inside but it is really nicely put together I've seen it in the flesh it's stylish almost opulent in terms of the luxury on the inside almost over the top in terms of opulence if you think high-end European cars rather than practical basic Volvo style it's heading in that direction of opulence rather than really of, rather than pure style but it's going to attract a big audience because it's, so let's jump in and order our byd seal now now we get to the real fun part let's go into the configurator guide and option up and order our new byd seal just going to order now and there we are on the configurator guide site the three models we looked at before dynamic premium and performance and now we see some pricing there's the basic price there 49 triple eight for the dynamic seal the premium seal 58 almost 10 9 thousand more fraction under 9 thousand more and then the performance another 10 thousand almost 10 thousand more exactly so three big price points almost 10 thousand apart so let's see if it's worth getting oh, with, well, let's see if it's worth spending up to 68 thousand on the performance model first the dynamic and we've been through those colors before those images are exactly the same so we've had a good look at those the colors just four options available basic white aurora white no cost option then we start jumping to another fifteen hundred dollars for the arctic blue atlantis gray and the cosmo black so yeah fifteen hundred once again it starts to step up pretty quickly once you start choosing bits and pieces like non-standard paint so the white's the base color for 49 triple eight 
we'll stay with that wheels 18 no choice and you've got the choice of interiors early 2024 we are 2024 but you'll pay an extra 1500 for that ocean blue interior now the only difference again the difference there is the difference there is that's all black on black and we jump famous black included no extra if we jump to 1500 it says the early del estimated delivery early 2024 the estimated delivery time has changed based on you can so we are early 2024 i'm not sure what that means exactly clearly it's a little bit later than what they thought add option accessories ceramic tint front mats boot liner mold we'll probably add those but and then once you enter your postcode 2000 for sydney australia and we'll look at our pickup point that'll be darlinghurst that's close by to the city of sydney continue to pricing now that was the base model that was the base price we were looking at previously 49 triple eight without the actual ongoing costs that are relevant to each date so ocean blue we we had the ocean blue interior no we did not we had the ocean blue interior vehicle subtitle 51 388 stamp duty local registration ctp that's third party insurance and a slimline plate fee gives us on roads of two thousand eight hundred dollars what we call on road costs in australia local stamp duty for the state of new south wales with differences in each state local registration that's our registration fee third party insurance you buy when you take delivery and a slimline license plate costs a little bit more so add that together you would pay 1000 and you could order that right now today the driveway price 54191 even though the base price was just under 50 grand so really 55000 as they say on the road so vehicle incentives are still available in Queensland WA and ACT and the Northern Territory but they've gone from Victoria and New South Wales they are gone there's nothing more no rebates nothing let's jump back and have a look at a couple of the other models as we have before in other configurator guides we're going to go all out and jump straight to the performance if we're going to do it let's do it properly and I like the black I've already had a good look at the some of the other colors and the black really appeals to me that looks good some great images here in these mock-ups and we're going to go black interior black on the outside with the 19 inch wheels base price for the performance 68 748 1500 for the cosmo black and you get the 19 inch wheels as standard thank you byd we're staying with the black interior no extra cost and we're gonna go some ceramic tint and we're gonna add the boot liner and let's get some floor mats as well 219 let's chuck it all in closest to delivery we live near sydney which is a postcode of 2000 continue to pricing let's pick up at byd alexandria the main super centers experience center here close by to my office and continue to pricing so for new south wales state of new south wales in australia let's see if it makes any difference for business or personal not at this stage we'll stay with business we might get an invoice for gst refund performance seal 68 748 1500 for the cosmo black paint and wheels included rubber mats window tent boot liner 71071 vehicle base price plus four thousand dollars in on-road cost stamp duty increases as the cost of the car increases red joe 861 CTP 428, some line plates 137 this time, so a little bit more. Total on road, on road total on road costs 4,081, so a total driveway price of 75,152 for the most phenomenal two engine performance BYD C we can possibly buy. Sound like 75,152 sound like a lot. You're getting leather seats, two engines, performance like better than any almost any supercar on the road phenomenal luxury amazing range beautiful car <laughs> it's looking like pretty goddamn good value as far as i'm concerned at 75 152 on the road for a car like this how does it compare with a tesla tesla model 3 so let's see what you get almost like for like model 3 long range two in all-wheel drive two engines in solid black $1,500 extra 
71,900 base price. Well, it's jumped to the 19 inch wheels, like for like, which are a lot more stylish as far as I'm concerned. $1,800 extra option, black interior, same, same, no leather this time. Let's leave out the chance to Let's forget about self driving capability. And let's continue to deliver your Model 3, estimated delivery, Feb to April 2024, business use. Drive away price $81,427 compared to $75,152. So, yes, is a Tesla worth an extra six, seven thousand dollars? Might be for if you're a Tesla buyer, but this PY deal represents damn good value as far as I'm concerned, and it is an extremely competitive car and an extremely competitive price. I'm Roscoe, and this has been Amazing EV.